By now, you all know, I'm a proud DC native. I grew up here, I went to Coolidge High School, and my family has strong roots in this area. But let's get real, the chocolate city we once knew is changing. Still, I know we have a lot of history, traditions, and a whole lot of culture worth fighting for. That's why we launched For the Culture more than 40 weeks ago. We've hit those topics, and more importantly, we've talked to the real people behind the issues that matter to you. Since For the Culture launched in March, we've talked about DC food. Mumbo sauce is a special sauce from DC. Traditions and music. Go Go Music is the heartbeat of DC. It is the soundtrack of our lives. You showed us your creativity, talents. Through these hands in my mind, I'm spreading the positive and honest message. And shared a whole lot of personality. A Southeast, a South, Southeast. What? All of this as we've told stories unique to the African-American experience in the DMV. We're in a so-called food desert right now. There just aren't any healthy eating options in a certain mile radius. You helped us peel back the pages of our history to give us a better sense of who we are and where we come from. I believe that if we don't know our history, we're doomed to repeat that, and we see that in this country today. Your daily realities spark important conversations about identity. When you say black, there's no ambiguity. Mm -hmm. It's like a fist. You told us about the challenges you fought to overcome. I have been in a situation that caused me to be laid off of my job. I've been locked up. I am a convicted thug. Black men in the district are expected to live 15 years fewer than their white male counterparts. And we've celebrated your successes. I don't know any other African American women own companies in this industry. And many of you demonstrated how you're helping to lift others up along the way. What's making you share your story now on For the Culture? I'm at the point where it's time to share. DC is about opportunity. DC is about like black people. And we're here and we aren't going anywhere. In a city that has faced the most intense level of gentrification and where African American families are being disproportionately displaced, this segment is to let you know that we see you and we hear you. And hopefully these stories are sparking conversations to help bridge some gaps and forge a path to more positivity, diversity, and inclusion. For WUSA 9, I'm Michael Quander, doing it for the culture. And we want to hear from you in the new year. If you know a person or a topic that you think should be featured in the For the Culture segment, you should reach out to Michael on social media. All of his information, including his email, is right there on your screen.